Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about the distributive property. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. In a previous video, we went over the basics of the distributive property. So the best way that I think to see this in action is to well see it in action. So we have three examples here that review the distributive property. Our first one here, simplify 100 times 0 plus 3 plus 0 0.5 Q, and that whole thing is in parentheses. What we have to do is to distribute, hence the term, the 100 to both parts here. All right, we have two different terms here. We can't combine them, they're not like terms. And so we have to multiply this out. We have 100 here times a 0 0.3, then the plus sign comes down. Then we have 100 times the second term, 0.25 Q. And now we simplify this. 100 times 0.3, the decimal 0.3, comes out to be a 30 plus 100 times 0.25 Q. Multiply by the coefficients, 100 times 0.25 is a 25, and don't forget the Q. We're done simplifying. They're not like terms, so we're kind of good right here. Moving on to the next one. Same idea. We distribute the negative 11 to both terms inside the parentheses. Again, they're not like terms. Negative 11 times 4, so we have negative 11 times 4 here. Bring down the center uh, operation, minus. And then, same thing again, negative 11 times a 3a. I'm going to put parentheses around the negative 11, so we keep <laughs> the double negatives here. We'll see what happens in a second. And 3a. From there we simplify, negative 11 times 4 is a negative 44, and then we have minus here, negative 11 times a 3a is a negative 33a. Now we have a double negative. Two negatives make a positive. So we have negative 44 here plus a 33a, and that's how it's simplified. Lastly, we have a negative just by itself outside of y plus 5. Again, these terms are not alike, so we can't add them together. We have to distribute the negative sign. Think of it as a negative 1 that's there. Multiply that out. Negative outside of uh, y, almost wrote 5, plus, this comes down, negative outside 5. Well, negative times a y is just a negative y. And then a negative times a 5 is a negative 5, but we have plus a negative 5. So we can rewrite this to be negative y minus a 5. And there we have it. We have negative y minus 5 as that final simplification. Well, would you learn something here on the distributive property? If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So, as always, thanks for watching.